Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. My name is Rusty G and I'm here with Lisa at the Goal Zero, still covering CES 2014 coverage. We've got so much to cover and so little time to get it into all, but we're going to try to get it done. So like I said, we're here at the Goal Zero booth uh, with a possible award-winning product here that we'd like to talk about because they're a 2014 honoree uh, here at the International CES. So we want to stop by because we saw some really neat products that are all powered by the sun. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so we're from Goal Zero. We are based in Utah, Salt Lake City. And we are, we're all about keeping your gear powered while you're on the go. Anything from phones, refrigerators, everything in between, we've got power for it. Nice. I love it. I, I see we have multiple devices here on the table. Uh, it looks like we've got a camp light, we've got some solar panels, maybe some sort of battery pack, maybe a little miniature battery pack, maybe even a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, tell us a little bit about a little bit each about them. Well, you are right on par with everything that you just said. Down here at this end, we've got the Switch 8, which is a USB recharger for phones, tablets, GoPro cameras. Charge it from USB, then it's got that USB out, so it's super awesome. I keep this in my backpack and I get a full recharge on an iPhone with it. Couple awesome. recharges on a GoPro. Moving up the scale, we've got our Sherpa 100, which is actually brand new at CES this year. Great lightweight power for tablets, laptops, DSLR camera batteries. So people that are traveling a lot, if you're on a plane, if you're in an airport, you don't have to sit underneath a, let's see, a drinking fountain to charge <laughs> your phone. You can charge it right up from our Sherpa 100. Nice. Over here, we've got our Rockout Bluetooth speaker, which is a solar powered speaker. So you can have long lasting music wherever you go. This was a CES award winner this year. As you, yeah, you can see it right back there. <laughs> so we won an honorary award in the musical accessories. Awesome speaker because as soon as you turn it on, lights up and it's automatically in pairing mode, which nice. is fun. It's super rugged, super durable, and pretty dang waterproof. So I could take it to the beach if I wanted to, or by the pool. Uh, yeah, I use mine in my shower. Hello, there you go. <laughs> she uses. She's she's a singer in the shower. So you gotta rock out with the rock out. <laughs> let's be honest. I'll turn that one off. And then right here is by far one of my favorite project products. It is the Lighthouse 250 Lantern. It's USB rechargeable. The cable's built in, so you're never gonna lose it. Wow. It also has a crank. Nice. So you can have emergency power anywhere you go. Lights up good and bright. Oh, yeah. Great light to play around with. Yeah, it looks like here we've got some sort of USB thing on the front. Tell me a little bit about that because I, I, I think we see this monstrosity here, <laughs> and I'm not sure what all this plugs into, but tell me a little bit about this. Right. So you're very observant because here on the front we have a one and a half amp output, which right. means we can charge a cell phone, we can charge a tablet, light, anything you need while you're out and about. And with this crank, it really turns it into a power anywhere, power all the time situation, right. which in an emergency can be very useful if everything else is out. This right here is one of our Medusa cables, which literally can <laughs> charge anything. I love the name. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I think so. Let me let me try this out here. Me I was going to say, do you yeah. have something to charge for me? Yeah, let's see. I've got this uh, little uh, watch here that we're going to try this out because this just this just doesn't look like it could power anything. I know, you'd think so, right? So I'm going to, I guess, plug this in right here and find, uh, goodness gracious, let's <laughs> try this out here. Uh, let's plug this in there. Oh, yeah, comes right on. That's awesome. So it's automatically charging. Uh, hopefully you can see that there. Uh, it started charging my watch right off bat. So, wow, that's so amazing. So you're now charging your watch from a lantern. I know, and that is crazy because, like you said, with the crank, even if I die, as far as battery power, I can still... Yeah, exactly. You can crank it right up. And like you mentioned earlier, everything's rechargeable from solar. Right. So this is one of our monocrystalline solar panels right here. Super durable, super lightweight. And in this back pouch here, there's actually a USB port. So you can plug your phone right into the solar panel and charge it from the sun. That's wonderful. It seems like we've got... We, we've only gotten just the top of the iceberg here on products. So it, it, there's a lot of stuff behind me and there's a lot of stuff here you're not seeing on camera. But I want to talk about this other thing that we did see and... Uh, <coughs> 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 yeah, you heard that thud right there? Yeah, take a look at that thing. Tell us a little bit about this one. So this is the Yeti 150 solar generator, which means it is a great power bank that you can use during emergencies if you're car camping. 
It's got 150 watt hours of power thanks to a lead acid battery. Whoops. Uh oh. Durable. We lost the solar panel. A lead acid battery inside. So it's just like what's in your car. Right. So it weighs ugh, 12 pounds. It's not that bad. <laughs> the ports built into the front of it here, you've got a 12 volt typical with what you find in your car. Uh, this smaller 12 port right here can actually run series of lights that we carry. USB port, super handy for all of the gadgets you have in your backpack. And then of course that AC inverter for powering smaller netbooks and laptops. This is the smaller end of our solar generator scale. We have a Yeti 400 and a Yeti 1250 that can actually run a refrigerator for like 10 hours. Wow, that's awesome. You guys see that video going on right behind you, yeah. It's also sitting right behind us. There's a big tower right behind us. It looks kind of like a miniature Tower of Babel. That's, that's <laughs> pretty much the batteries going on behind us. I mean, those things, I'm pretty sure you could throw in the back of a Jeep and run all weekend and power all your devices and never even have to worry about power. So that's completely awesome. Thank you so much. Tell me real quick before we get out of here, what's our price range starting out maybe at the low end? I'm not sure as far as prices. Kind of give us an idea of what we got here on the table. Right. So what we had up earlier with the switch and the solar panel, switch, great backup for your phone, for your tablet is going to run you about $39. The solar panel was about $79. And then we kind of move up the list. This awesome lighthouse, $79. We've got our Rockout Solar Speaker, which is going to be available in June of this year for $129. Okay. Sherpa 100, the epic backup for cameras and laptops and tablets, is going to run you about $300. And then finally, the Yeti 150, $199. All on GoalZero.com. Make sure you guys go and check them out. You guys got a Twitter feed, Facebook, uh, anything that we can follow? Oh, yeah. Follow us on Facebook, Goal Zero, and on Twitter, Goal Zero, so Goal, Goal Zero Solar. And please follow us on Instagram because we have some epic photography that you guys should check out. All right, you guys go and check that out. We've got more coverage to here at CES 2014. We've got more floor to cover. There's 2 million square feet. So after we get done here, we're probably going to be at another spot. So thank you very much again for your time. You have a wonderful CES, and we'll look forward to some more products in 2014. All right, sounds great. See you guys. Thanks.